Okay, hello and welcome. After we have finished drafting the face and outline, and each part of the face, in this chapter, I will consolidate everything we have learned so far for one last practice before we move on to the next chapters. In the next chapter, we will focus on drawing and coloring. For now, I would like everyone to open the file where you have drafted or traced the face. This is a draft where I have finished the outline already. First of all, I will adjust the draft to get it as close to the original as possible. Before proceeding, I will show you my iPad for comparison. I think it looks quite similar, but we can make some minor adjustments. We need to inspect it closely. I think the eyes are a bit small. I will make them smaller. Sorry, I think the eyes are a bit too big. I will make them a little bit smaller. I will move them slightly this way. Um, the eyes still look too big. It looks kind of like a comic drawing. That is, the lines from the first draft, not the second draft. I will try to adjust them. Um, mm, I need to add some more lines here. I will try to use Liquify. Go to Adjustments and then go to Liquify. It's almost the last option, this one. I will try to use push here. Use the first push to adjust it. I'm being a little cheeky. <laughs> there are many features to help. I want my portrait drawing to have a better impact. Portrait drawings can be repetitive. We draw the same ears, eyes, nose, lips, all in a similar drawing pattern. We measure them again and again, but it is never exactly the same. To make the portrait look like a copy of the photograph is difficult, I think. We keep examining the portrait. Remember though, it is still a portrait drawing, not a photograph. Here I will pinch the cheeks a little bit. I think it looks more similar now. Be careful not to overdo it. It may become too curved. If it's too curved, I would like you to draw it instead. Ah, okay. I will do the second draft. If you want to continue the outline, you can skip this step. Okay, I will start the second draft. For this, I'm using a black color and a peppermint brush. I think these eyes are still too big. We need to zoom in and closely inspect them. I will insert a reference here, it's easier. We can use the original as a reference. Actually, I should have opened it in the beginning. <laughs> I forgot, Procreate has this feature. We start with the eyelid, we will do it quickly. See, I drew the eye a little bit too big. I need to see if I can fix it. Here is the bottom of the eye. The water line is at the bottom. It has skin inside and a second layer. 
The waterline is located just above the bottom eyelash. Portrait drawing is quite sensitive because if we use the wrong line or the wrong proportions even slightly, it will affect the whole face. But like I mentioned, it's a portrait drawing, not a photograph. It will have some details that are not the same as a photograph. Next is the iris. The iris is very circular. You can use a quick shape. Because it is so circular, it is almost a perfect circle. It is the same for the pupil. It is circular and exactly in the middle of the eye. Don't place the pupil slightly right or slightly left. Make sure it is exactly in the middle and keep it a perfect circle. Don't forget to leave space for the eye's expression. Okay, cool. Here is where the eyebrow will go. I will draw it now. I will spend some time drawing here. Don't get bored, please. Or when you're at each step, you can draw anything you want, I think. Okay, here. Okay, and then here. This is an opportunity for us to check again and see how it looks. After we've sketched the outline and finished the first draft, I would like everyone to inspect it again and see if it looks like the original. Then you use your instinct to further inspect it and make adjustments if needed. Here, you can use Liquify, or if you prefer Transform, it's fine. If using Transform with Selection, first select the area that you would like to move, shrink or expand, then enable Transform and use the arrow to change it. If you use Liquify, be careful not to overdo it. Remember, the iris is very circular. You can use a finger to touch the screen and create a perfect circular shape. Okay, here's the pupil, which again is very circular and not oval. It is a symmetrical circle. Here and here. Now, um, you need to make sure that the nose here is quite symmetrical. It should look symmetrical, not crooked, and it should look exactly the same on both sides. Okay, now I will put a very light circle here. Okay, 
Next is the lips. Here you can see the corner of the lips are slightly lifted, almost like a little smile. This side is like a little smile too, but this corner will bend slightly downwards. See how I do it? Actually, when I was studying drawing at Sopocorn University, they taught portraits during the last lesson, really. What I teach is a shortcut. In portrait drawing class, the lecturer taught about painting. We painted everything. We painted models, triangles, rectangles, plates, bowls, and other things like that. Sometimes we painted flowers or something like that, and then in the last lesson we learned about portraits. Because drawing portraits is quite sensitive. You need to work on many other things first so you can understand and notice the detail in portraits. Only after practicing on other objects can you draw portraits in detail. What I teach is a shortcut. Okay, now we move on to the outline of the face. I will pinch the cheeks just a little bit. Pinch them a little bit more. Okay, so what's next? Ears? Hmm, I can't really see this ear. But it's not like it's hidden, it's there. I'll make it a little more prominent. Of course, everyone must have ears, right? <laughs> okay, let's do the outline of the hair here a little. On to the neck. I saw someone draw the neck here. This is not right. You need to study the original picture to discover the right place for the neck. As you can see in the photograph, her neck is aligned with the end of her eyebrow. This means the neck should be here in the portrait. We need to see many compositions together. Next, I will focus on drawing the hair. Like I said before, think of the hair as many different sections. Part the hair into separate sections. We will part the hair along the hairline and create sections. Find a lock of hair that you can see clearly and then just part it right there. Oops, there's a mistake. <laughs> of course, there are always some mistakes. Here's black. In the original, some of her hair is not in the photograph. I'll extend here a bit. If you can't see the end of the hair in the original, we can use our imagination instead. Because I'm used to drawing hair, I will make her hair pointed at the ends. I will do it like this.
such great imagination. <laughs> if you feel lost, you can find other originals and discover how the ends of the hair look. Okay. Follow what I'm doing. Here there are a few lines. There's the hairline. Draw it too. Okay, this side also. Stroke it down to the neck. Okay. Draw the top a little bit. Okay, now we have finished the outline. Next, we will do the inking. Let's go. Add the layer. Inking. Let's get the same brush. Use inking pen sharp. I will adjust the opacity of the second draft layer and reduce it a little. Let's do it. Keep checking with the original. Okay. I need to prepare myself first. <laughs> I will use a brush this size. The inside waterline is very thin. Let the brush flow, let it flow. I think this line isn't great. Mm, just leave it. When you are drawing lines, think about whether they are necessary or not. Do they really need to be there? Judge it for yourself. The line goes down a little, then strokes upwards. Okay? There's also a line here by the inner eye. If you don't know where the line should go, just look at your inner eye. Again, it is very important that the iris is very circular and not oval or any other shape. The pupil is the same. Fill the color in the pupil. It's adjustable, like this. Look at the bar at the top. If it's too low, it will show a white circle. However, if we increase it, the white circle will disappear. Be careful not to fill it too much, otherwise the pupil will become too black. Okay. I will continue, okay?
do inking. Be careful not to leave any white spaces. We need to cover them all. I will keep turning the screen to make it more comfortable when drawing these lines. Now the other eye. Ah, uh, the waterline. We will stop right here. This is also skin in the eye. Again, keep the iris as a perfect circle, not oval or misshapen. The pupil is in the center of the eye. It should not be here or here. It will be directly in the middle. Follow me. Draw a little bit here, just a little bit. Okay, now we move on to the nose. <laughs> I held my breath. <laughs> I forgot to breathe. <laughs> okay, stroke it gently. I will change to a super sharp brush. Just a little bit here, keep it thin, not too much. Here is the face. This is why I don't want to draw too many lines on the nose because the eyes should stand out on the face. When people look at the portrait, they feel like it's staring at them. It will be very eye-catching. Okay. We need to draw very beautiful eyes. If the eyes are gorgeous, we're halfway there. There are many types of beautiful eyes and eye expressions. However, don't make the eyes too cutesy. Maybe the customer doesn't like cutesy eyes. But if you know the customer likes cutesy eyes, then maybe you can draw them that way. Bend this line down a little. Does it look similar?
Oh. I will add some lines here. Add each... Mm, what is it called? Line. And make sections, then more sections. Don't put too many, otherwise she will look angry. There are many now. <laughs> she looks angry. <laughs> Keep the line short and only at the edge. Okay, follow me. Something like this. Here I would like to edit a little because the lines are too big. I feel like the lines are too long. Okay, let's continue. Back to the inking pen sharp. I will continue drawing. Let's time it. Now it's 4.45 p.m. Erase it. Let's keep going. Don't have thorns on your lines. I call them thorns. <laughs> They're secondary lines out of the primary line that do not continue anywhere. Okay, follow me. The top is a little creased. Okay, next we'll draw the hair. Hair. Her hair is quite straight at first, then becomes curved and curly. I'm going to do a little more editing here. The lines are now a little too short in the eye. Okay. Let's keep going. I will part the hair into large sections using lines. Here I would like to add a few more lines because the hair curves this way a little. Here is... Uh, what is it called? Um... The hairline, which curves upwards slightly. It's a lock of hair. Follow me and draw the rest of the hair. I will speed up now.
This is a long line. Stroke it. It's really long. Let's keep going. Okay, I need to compose myself. Stroke it. It's a bit crooked. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Mm, there's some mistakes. Uh, let's continue. Another line. Let's keep going. Do your best. Stroke it, leave it, <sighs> fingers crossed. And then here also. After this, I will not keep checking with the original because I can't see it anymore. <laughs> Okay. Let's continue. Start the other side. There are sections of hair up here. Here too. I will not use the technique of outlining everything. Instead, I will slightly draw the curve like this. Then you can see the layers of the hair. This hair here is behind the ear. I will draw curved lines like this. We need to inspect it carefully. Here too. Stop. And then another line. We will see layers like this. This is her shoulder. Now we have completed the outline of the hair. Next, we will draw more in depth. Add this hairline here a little. Okay, follow me. Now we section it.
There are some sections where the lines are very thin. I will gently draw the thin lines. Here, I will stroke the brush, draw a thin line, and then stroke it again. There can be many weights in a single line. Here is a heavier weight. Here. We will do it like this first, and then we can connect the lines later. Let's go. Stroke it gently. I'm so focused that I forgot to speak, forgot that I'm teaching. Here there's a little hair. Okay, it's going well. Fingers crossed. We can lengthen this line, but make sure you keep the line perfect. Wow, long way to go. Okay. Wait, I need to compose myself. I'm getting nervous. Okay, okay, let's do it. Stroke it. It's difficult because I can't use the quick shapes. Like, if we long press the pen and get a perfectly straight line, it won't work here. Because we don't want a perfectly straight line. <laughs> For me, a long straight line is very difficult to draw. For others, it might be easy. If it is easy for you, congratulations! I'm jealous. Now I need to bend over. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, erase it. Stroke it. <sighs> See, it's curved. I'll do it again. Edit it. Let's continue. Whoa. Shorter and easier. Let's see, she will have a lock of hair. The lock of hair is a little messy. <laughs> I suggest adding more lines for messy hair because I feel like it's too flat otherwise. I will add more lines for this lock of hair, just a few connected to the main section of the hair.
then erase some. It should look like it flutters. Okay. Here, stroke it gently to connect it to this line. Okay, then continue this line down here. Put this line in the middle. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Which line to connect? Ah. Connect this line. Ah, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm concerned that I will be embarrassed because this one is difficult for me. I hold the edge of the table while I'm trying. Need something to hold on to. Okay, I will draw the rest of the long lines now without having a break. Okay. I will leave some space here. Seems like the lock of hair is not attached, it's separate. Um, enough now. How can I make it look separate? I color this corner a little bit darker. Then it appears as if it is not hair. It's more like a space or something like that. Okay, I will separate this long line again from this line. I'm quite nervous. I need to hold the table first. <laughs> Stroke it gently. Okay, break, break, break. Oh, it's almost done. Race it a little. Not finished yet.
Stroke it here a little. Okay. Here too, one more line. Okay, it went well. Okay, let's continue. I'm drawing and keeping my fingers crossed at the same time. It should be darker here. And the long line. Back to the long line again. The paper film really helps. I will stroke it to connect with this line. There you go. Let's keep going. Uh, okay. Um, no more. This is it. There's a little hairline hiding here. Okay, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Make the lines curve a little. It makes it easier. <laughs> okay. Hey, almost done. Yay, yay, yay. I think it will be easier if we zoom in to draw it. When we zoom out, the drawing is too small. It finishes quicker. But we don't see the complete detail because of the pen tip is blocking it.
Yay, I'm relieved. <laughs> Done. We don't need to stroke the long line now. <laughs> there is a hairline out here. Stroke it gently. Erase it. Erase it. Erase it here, okay. Come on. I will draw a line to make a beautiful curve. This line is curved. Can you see it? Do it again. Okay, erase it. Keep going. Perfect, erase the other lines. Okay. Erase it here a little. Let's do one more line. This one. How does it look? Looks like there's something special. Looks complicated. Like, wow, how can you do that? If someone asks how can you do it, tell them you learned with Freya. <laughs> I'm recording the video and speaking alone by myself. <laughs> Talking away. <laughs> okay, I think it's fine now. If anyone would like to add some more lines, go ahead. Over here a little bit more. Okay. It's done. Is it done? Let's review and see if something is missing or overdone. Close the original. Close this one too. Let's see. Um, this is it. It's done from start to finish. It's about time we got here. It took a long time. So after we finish the outline, we do the inking on each part of the face, then we draw the hair. In this chapter, we combined everything to make one drawing. I think we can sell it. <laughs> Maybe we can add a little bit of color. If the customer likes black and white work, you can show them this. I think this drawing is good enough. But if you want to add more hairlines or add some other things, go ahead. Now we have explored drawing, stroking, and inking. In the next chapter, we look at both drawing and painting. Start fresh again. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. 
As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my Procreate Portrait Academy. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video.